Hi, Todd Dunn here on May 16, 2019. Today, I'm aboard my 1972 Allied Princess 36 Sequester. The boat's been in the water now for one week, and uh, the weather has been absolutely miserable for that week. Lots of rain and wind, and as a consequence, I have not yet gotten the Genoa on. So today, I'm gonna put the Genoa on, and you're going to get to see me do it. So, what's going to happen? Well, the first thing I have to do is uh, lead the furling line from the uh, Hood Sea Furl SL furler back to the cockpit, because right now it's coiled up at the furler. And once that's done, I will put the jib sheets in place, and I'll tie the bitter ends off to the winches, and run them forward through the uh, turning blocks and up onto the foredeck so that I can tie them uh, to the clue of the sail when I get it out on the deck. When that's done, I'll be ready to attach the uh, halyard and start pulling the sail up. And I'm going to shoot this uh, without sound because I'm going to be quite away from the camera and you probably wouldn't be able to hear me and I'll just dub in uh, some sound afterwards. So, let's get going and get this done. In this segment, I'm uh, going forward to the furler where the line from the furler drum is coiled up. Well, I'll untie it and then I'm going to lead it back through fair lead blocks attached to the lifeline stanchions all the way back to the cockpit where I will secure it ultimately on my Anderson 12 ST furling winch. I've got the uh, furling line led through all the blocks. I'm just going to bring it aft here and put it on an Anderson number 12 self-tailing winch. And there it goes. So that is ready to furl the sail as soon as I get the sail on. So the next step is going to be to rig the jib sheet. The sheets are about 40 feet long and they are double braid uh, polyester with relatively low stretch and they'll be tied to the clue of the sail with a simple bowl. So I'm going to lead them forward. Here I am leading a jib sheet forward through the turning block on the tow rail and then outside the lifelines and it will ultimately go outside the shrouds and then come back to attach to the clue of the sail. Now I've gotten the uh, jib sheets run forward. They go outside the shrouds and then back onto the foredeck. And what I'm doing now is tying the end of the jib sheet to the clue of the sail with a bowline. I'm going to do that for both sides, making sure that the line coming from the starboard side goes ahead of the mast. And once that's finished, I uh, We'll walk forward and I'm going to attach the tack of the sail, which is the bottom attachment point of the sail, at the forward end of the sail, to a shackle at, on the furling drum at the bottom of the furler. And I will mouse that uh, shackle with a piece of wire. And then I will attach the head attachment point of the sail to the furler's upper swivel and mouse that connection. And after that, I'm going to attach the jib halyard to the upper attachment point on the furler's upper swivel. Now everything's attached and I'm ready to start raising the sail. So I'll come back to the mast and get the other end of the jib halyard. Then I'm going to walk forward again and start to pull the sail up while I feed the top edge of the luff tape into the feeder that guides the luff tape into the groove on the jib furler itself. And then I'm just going to gradually pull that uh, 
luff of the sail all the way up until I get the sail up to the top and at that point I'll secure the jib halyard and we'll be ready to roll the sail up. It was a bit windier uh, while I was raising the sail uh, than I like it to be so the sail was blowing around quite a lot and it was actually quite hard to pull up because when the sails got wind load on it it just pulls on the luff tape that's in the groove and makes it very tough to move just simply due to friction. So I kind of had to go back and forth from the mast where I had a winch handle in the winch and could crank it up a little bit then go forward make sure the luff tape was properly lined up come back crank it up a little more and repeat until I got everything up right near the end of the hoist the uh, luff tape jammed a little bit, so I had to go forward, pull the sail down a little bit to get the luff tape jam cleared, and then I could crank the sail up the rest of the way uh, before I was ready to furl it. When the sail is finally all the way up, I went back to the cockpit and started furling the sail. And just gradually rolled it up, uh, well, snugging up the sheets a little bit to keep the furl fairly tight and you can see the sail rolls up quite nicely and that's it well that's that she's on and furled up uh, near the end of pulling the sail up I ran into an issue where I got a little bit of a kink in the luff tape so I had to go forward and pull the sail back down to get that kink out and uh, and then pull it up the rest of the way at any rate this is a usually a once a season thing the only time i take the sail down during the season is if we have uh, a big windstorm with winds greater than about 45 knots forecast just so that i won't run the risk of having the sail come unfurled while the boat is on the mooring at any rate she's ready to go sailing now uh, I do not put the mainsail on for a variety of reasons I'm not going to go into here. So I always sail this boat with just the Genoa and the Mizzen. The Genoa is 150% jib, which is uh, plenty of pulling power, and the Mizzen helps a little bit and also helps to balance the boat up. So anyway, that's it. The jib is on. The boat is ready to sail. So. We'll see you on the water. I was planning to do a number of videos of getting the Tortuga ready to launch, but unfortunately the boatyard has asked me not to shoot video in the yard, so you're not going to get to see that. But Tortuga should be going in in about 10 days to two weeks. Basically at this point I have just a little bit of woodwork to finish up my foredeck repair, just have to put the tow rail and rub rail back on. And after that, I just have painting to do. So, it shouldn't take too long. So Tortuga will be in the water pretty soon. And when I'm ready to launch Tortuga, I'll move this boat out to the mooring and Tortuga will be here for the summer. So, anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, a little event. It's a little windier than I thought, so it was a little harder than I expected. But it's done now, and that's that. If you haven't, please subscribe, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up.